My name is Ken, and today we're using the SCIM Satisfactory Calculator Interactive Map Save Editor to make an adjustment to the tower we built last episode. I'm also going to use some blueprints to build a train line that simultaneously inclines and curves while giving us this amazing view of the waterfall. This video is an edited down version of VOD 43, and if I cut out anything you wanted to see, a link to the VOD is in the description. Let's get started. Okay, welcome to live stream 43 and episode 43, and we're still working on the oil. And the big thing that we worked on is our tower here. Now he's a little short, he's a little stubby, and we're gonna fix that today. So we're gonna head over, that's the, that's the first thing we're gonna do today, is we're gonna fix our tower. And I'm gonna show you guys something that a lot of people probably haven't seen before. We're gonna work on this tower. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the save file editor. I'm gonna do it in real time. Uh, the SCIM satisfactory save file editor. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. And that's the first thing we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna fix up that tower. Okay, hopefully that won't take too, too long. And then after that, we're gonna work on the train line. And so the first thing that I wanna do really quickly is give you guys a quick update on where we are with the train line. We are closing in on finishing this beast. I know that we've spent way too many episodes talking about this train line. I wanna move on, but um, we are making progress. So we got this tower in here. This is the tower we were just looking at, and we will finish that up today, fix it, and have it fixed moving forward. The tower blueprints so that we won't have to do this every time, it'll be a lot faster. I was gonna build a tower here for this oil, but I decided that we don't need to do that, that this tower here can supply this oil's head lift. I don't know if we're gonna do that today, but we definitely don't need a tower here like I thought. What I'm, we're gonna try to do is work on some train line after we fix up that tower. The black is the train line that is completed. The purple is the train line that has yet to be completed. And we're gonna pick up over here and build in front of this waterfall and then up here, up around here, and then probably get right to the edge of this drop and maybe even put in, start putting in this intersection here tonight. We'll see, I don't know how far we'll get. And that's that's it, that's where we, all we gotta do is we gotta east meets west right here. We have an, a, a nasty intersection here we have to do. We have a train spiral here we have to do. We have an intersection here we have to do and then a tower here and a tower here, and we can finally move on and have our train network complete for the rest of the save. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, we actually are going to make an edit to this save. Here's the plan. I decided that this tower is too short. Technically, it's not too short. It does its job, it provides the head lift that it needs, but aesthetically, it's too short. And in addition, and this is a kill two birds with one stone kind of thing, the tower in the blue crater is gonna need to be taller than this one because the blue crater is lower in elevation than this one. So I've done all the math and I have figured out that if we add two more tiers, right? If you remember, we had seven tiers for this tower. Each tier has eight wall pieces. Each wall is four meters. So I figured out that if we add two more tiers, then we should have a tower that gives us the required head lift we need no matter where we place it on the map. And in addition, the second bird we're killing with this stone is that it will make the tower look better because the goal is for the tower to look like, like this. So this was the goal to make it look like this. And it, he's a little short. So adding two tiers does wonders. And I've done all that work. I've done all those blueprints so that you guys don't have to watch me fuddle around for 12 hours. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So the first thing we have to do is we have to exit the game. And now I have already backed up my save. If you do anything with your save file, you need to back it up. So this is satisfactorycalculator.com, the interactive map, and it's really the save editor. Okay, click and drop your save game here. Okay, save games are stored here. Percent local app data, percent factory game, slash save, slash save games, okay? Stream 42 plus cosmetic complete. Okay, and so I'm gonna take 
my save file and I'm gonna drop it in. And now, now it's gonna load my save file. Okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking at the Senate building. Now, this is a top-down two-dimensional view only, but this is everything going on in our Senate building. All the packagers, okay, here's a packaged oil, right? This is what the save editor does, okay? And if we move down, uh, we can see our train lines, okay? We can see this is my starter, my starter factory right here. Here's the starter factory, okay? And we're gonna move over here to the tower. Remember where our job is. I don't wanna have to rebuild the top. I spent a bunch of time putting everything together. I want to raise it up. First thing we have to do is select the correct selection. We can do that in the first two dimensions by creating a circle. And so, and we're going to do that. Okay. Circle selection tool. I'm going to click here in the middle and I'm going to drag out. Now, when I do that, I've selected everything in a column in two dimensions, right? That circle. There's a third dimension, okay? And and the third dimension is the slider, okay? It's Z, the Z dimension. And I'm going to select just the top part of the tower, not everything in the circle, okay? Now, I've already figured out exactly the meters that I need to send it to, okay? And I wrote it down here, filter altitude for tower, move 238. So we're going to filter this Z up to 238. Just select exactly what I want. Not 239, not 237, 238. I want to take everything higher than that. Okay, so that's fine. So here, see all that other stuff went away. There's no train line. There's no, there's no oil packagers. There's no, there's no power. There's no pipes. None of that's there because we have filtered off using these, this vertical filter, this Z filter, only items above 238 meters. And those are the items that I want to move. Okay. So now I have to refill, I have to reselect everything in the circle. You have selected 614 items, 78 catwalk T-crossings, 52 label signs, four meters, 27 modern railings, right? So everything we want is, is selected in there, okay? Now, what are we gonna do? We have options, things that we can do to this selection, okay? We could delete all the selected items. If you have a giant factory, instead of spending four hours deleting every little piece of it you can come into this save editor go in select what you want and then delete it you can update the building's color slot let's say that you were on the primary swatch right and you want to switch to a different one you can change the entire building's color color swatch okay what we're going to do there's a bunch of stuff you can make a mega print which is like a blueprint but mega and you can align selected items to the world grid. If you were just off on the world grid and you're like, no, I needed this factory that I built to be on the world grid. You can align it to the world grid. I haven't tested most of this. What I have tested is what we're gonna do. Moved selective items position. Okay, we're gonna move the selected items position. Now I'm gonna hit submit. Will it tell us, I forget. Will it tell us how to move it? Yes. Okay, now we can move it in all three dimensions. Okay, in our case, we're gonna move the Z, we're gonna move it up and we're gonna move it 64 meters. So we're gonna move it up 64 meters. So I'm gonna hit eight meters plus eight times, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I've moved the Z of all of my selected items up 64 meters. It's done. Now we have to download the game save. Download save game. Okay, now we're gonna download it. Don't forget to put it back in your save game folder. The new save will be downloaded with underscore calculator appended to the file name. It's compiling everything and I'm gonna re-download the save file. I'm gonna put it back in the same 
file that I pulled it out of. I'm gonna put it back in there and then when we reboot up Satisfactory, it's gonna be right there for us and I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna load it and then we're gonna go see how we did. Where is it? Here it is, Stream 42 plus Cosmetic Complete Calculator. So we have the old one and then we have the new one, okay? Underscore calculator, here we go. Oh, look at it. It's missing its, its lid. There it is. It worked. So that is the new height of our tower. And we're gonna fill in that, that gap. But we're actually gonna do a little bit more than that. So I came up with a slightly better solution to these sort of crenellations that we have. But, but there we go. Okay, I selected these items and I just yanked them up into the sky. Now, the higher this goes, the sort of weirder this looks. Like it looks really good down here, but as we get narrower, this starts to look funkier and funkier. But it turns out that after a certain point, I can actually drop the number of walls and it start to look like a circle again and kind of reset the overlap, right? The, the, the overlap that gains, okay? And it turns out that that is at five, halfway through tier five blueprint. So we're gonna delete tier seven and Lothal Tower tier five, version one. We're gonna delete it, okay? So we do have to get rid of these connections. Okay, and we're gonna be getting rid of these walls. So I'm gonna be kind of, and honestly, I probably could have deleted, I absolutely could have done this using the satisfactory save editor. And if I was more intelligent than I am, I would have thought to do that, but that's okay. There we go. So now we're, we know we're at the right height because our stairs line up, okay? And our walls line up. And let's go ahead also and make sure that that looks correct, it does. See how we're one notch in? Just like here we're one notch in, we're, we're here we're one notch in. This is actually half a meter. Okay, here we go, let's build it. Now the more astute of you may have seen that I have this ring here. Okay, and that's because I, uh, for some reason, and it's probably math related, or there's rarely coincidences in math, but if I try to go any closer right here, if I try to go like this in, in the blueprint, we can no longer actually do it because it starts to intersect the outside of the blueprint. Okay, I can't go any closer than this. All the rest of these blueprints, the, the this exterior is, is outside of the blueprint maker. But now it starts to, at this distance, it starts to actually intersect with the blueprint maker and I can't do it. All right. At the same time, this is also the exact half meter out from the center that allows us to drop enough wall segments to get back to where there's none of this overlap. All right, and basically what that is, is right now there is a 15 degree difference between this wall and this wall. Okay, three clicks over. We can only click in, in five degree increments, okay? When we're making circles like this, okay? We have this, okay, we can only do this. I can't do any lower than this. This is a five degree in, uh, increment, okay? And all the walls, tier five and below, is three of them, one, two, three. So it's a 15 degree turn. The next set of walls is a 20 degree turn, one, two, three, four. Okay, and as long as 360 is divisible by the number of of degrees that I'm chopping away in five me meter increments, then it'll make a circle when it's done. So what we were doing is 360 divided by 15. Okay, we had 24 walls. 
Okay, now we're doing 316 divided by 20. We have 18 walls. All right. And what this ring is, is the guideline for that. The first one I want to do is right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that wall in and then we're going to put that wall in and then we're going to go, if I remember one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I never remembered correctly. So now see these line up. This is the next step in that we were going to take, right? So I'm going to do the same thing for all of these. Okay. Now you're thinking to yourself, all right, Ken, this is great. This is perfect. Fine, fine and dandy, but now we're going to have to build all these by hand because you just said these circles intersect the blueprint maker and we can't put them in a blueprint. Uh, well, you know, yes and no, because I of course thought of that and blueprints are an amazing, amazing tool in this game. And if you can be a little creative and do amazing, amazing things, let's put in all the tiers and then we'll do the walls. Now, again, the smartest among you may be saying, well, Ken, eventually this circle, it, if it continues to get smaller as you go up, eventually it should get small enough to where the entire circle fits inside the blueprint maker and now you can make it again, right? In eight's case, no walls. It is still this entire way all the way up is still transitioning from all the way outside of the square blueprint maker to all the way inside of the square blueprint maker, making literally me trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Well, actually probably a round peg in a square hole. But we have one more. And Lothal Tower Tier 9 does fit. And there we go. And to finish off this beautiful thing, let's go ahead and delete these. Oh, okay. I look at the, um, look at the catwalks. That's it. I don't even have to nudge it. Okay, we done. We finally done. We're done. There's some little baby gaps in there. I'll worry about it later. That's done though. Okay. And it looks really good from the outside. Okay. I'm like Oprah over here. You get a blueprint and you get a blueprint and you get a blueprint. Everybody gets a blueprint. Look at this beautiful blueprint. Look at it. Look at it. So here's how you place right at the top in the middle and then hold control. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Four in. It's a little fit. It's a little finicky because blueprints aren't designed to do this. See, and sometimes it doesn't even work right. But I mean, that's my jam, you know, using things for other than their intended purpose. Mostly it's just because I'm stubborn. I'm like, I want this thing to work and I'm not going to take no for an answer. So I demand until I get what I want. Oh my God, Derbs, 10 more memberships. This crazy guy has gifted 40 memberships. I mean, at the beginning of the stream, I had like 60 total memberships. He's increased my total memberships by almost 100%. Dude, you're insane. Just again, anybody who has gifted us a, a membership sub to really take advantage of it, come to my Discord and you have to connect your, your YouTube account to your Discord account. It's very, very easy. It takes seconds. And then my, my Discord will automatically give you access to the the areas that you need to have access to and 
My blueprints and my save files are there. Uh, members to my channel get my blueprints for 30 days early access, basically. I, I'll put these up because these are now finished. And so the 30 day timer for the, all of these blueprints starts probably today. Look, it, it's perfect. It's perfect. Remember, we started, this was a part of tier nine, the tier nine blueprint, see? Tier nine blueprint. This wall right here is the tier nine blueprint. But we started this line based off of this ring way down there. And so I had to ensure that this ring was perfectly placed so that if I uh, went out and, and this ring had to line up with, remember it had to line up with the, the end of tier, of these tier five rings, right? So I had to bridge the gap between this and this, and I had to do it with this guide, with this ring guide here which I'm, uh, I'm, I'm safe to delete this now. Needless to say, this took me probably 20 hours to get right. Well, maybe not that long. I've said this before, but multitasking is a myth. If you multitask, if you truly multitask, you're just doing two things badly. Hmm. There we go, that's the tower. Dude, we switch our, yeah, we switch it halfway up. Now I do get that it starts to get rough and then it gets smooth and then it gets rough, but I will take that over what we had before. This looks very, very good. I am super happy with this. You know, it'd be nice. Ooh, let's get a ratio. I know what we can do. It'll be a little off. Uh, let me grab my ruler, hold on. Let me reach into my drawer of tricks. Okay, so the width of the base, we're gonna call four inches on my screen. And then we're gonna go, the one side is six. Okay, perfect. So basically the width of this entire top is two thirds the width of one arm, okay? So if we can, if we can nail that ratio, then it'll really look clean. So what are we, how are we gonna measure this really easily? We're gonna go like this, we're gonna go to this one, and we're gonna do painted beam, and we're gonna go through here. Okay, this is 40, and then 40 meters, and then we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. It's 20, so 60 meters. Okay, 60 meters divided by four is 15. So that's 15 of these, so 20% more. So we need, 60, here, let's just, let's just do the math. I won't do it in my head. 60 times 1.5, 90, divided by four, 22.5, divided by two. Uh, we need 12 and 12. We'll call it 12 and 12. I did 15 and 15, very, very close. And cut off six off the end. Do we like that? I think I like that. I think that is a good, I think, I think that worked. I think that did the trick, that ratio. I'm not happy with this solution though. Really, I'm not, I'm just, I'm really not happy exactly with this. That's better. All right, uh, I'm good with that for now. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That's done, that's done. Where was our, where was our, our stitch together here and we get everything. I think we did. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is the problem with the taller tower. Oh my gosh, I redid the blueprints and I forgot to fix this stupid problem. I forgot this piece twice now. Okay, we're flowing. Are we done with this tower? 
How long have I been going? Just over two hours and I started late. So really just two hours. Uh, it's two hours out of eight or nine that I'll probably go tonight. We're done with this tower. I, I cannot complain about that, you guys. All right, let's let's test out this beast. The trip is so long, I can stop and get a drink. <laughs> this tower is way too big, you guys. Oh, it's way too big. Oh, no. <laughs> that's why I had... The, oh, that's why. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember why I had this stupid railing here. I was like, what is... What is that? Why do I have that? That doesn't make any sense. I don't need that. Oh my God, that's so funny. Oh, it's so freaking funny. That's much better. Um, and honestly, we can probably just get rid of this and take, take it back to where I had it before. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Let's, let's put this back in. Do we even need it? Yeah, it's a little dark there. I'm almost done fiddling. I'm almost done fiddling. He said for the 20,000th time. Um, and I mean, look, I mean it when I say it, but I also know that it's not true. I want it to be true. That looks so good. Now we can't unfortunately go down here because I sort of made it one way, but that's okay because, oh, we have to fix this. There we go. Oh, our light's not on. Uh, what happened to our light? Uh, probably got disconnected in the great chop of 2024. Yay! And there's light. Now it looks cool. Now it looks the way it should look. Okay, this is the first, the first thing done. So now we're going to switch gears and we're going to head over and we're going to pick up at this train location. And it's going to be really cool because we're going to build in front of this waterfall. And then the rest of the stream, we're going to get as much of this train line as we can up to here. And then we're going to start this intersection if we can. So let's head over there. Let's let's fly over there. And then here's our next set of oil. We have our train line already here. Hey, this oil is ready to go. I might do this today. Actually, I'm gonna do this right now. We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna do this now. We're 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 ready to rock. Uh, I did make a little bit of a tiny error. I put the train line directly. Oh, I put it directly over crude oil. Like of all the places I could have put our train line, I put it directly over it. So. And I, I, I actually really like the placement of it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna move it. It's just gonna, he's just gonna live under here. He's just gonna live under here. No blueprint. Okay, now let's remember. So we're actually passing them through here. These three, okay? And let's see, we have a pure a normal so that's a 600 directly in that's a half of a 600 that's the other half of a 600 is there only three there's only three so only two pipes let's knock this out let's get these in okay we are aligned to the train change back to zoop because get rid of that Let's build over some bacon. Ah, oh, bacon. Oh, bacon is... I'm missing bacon right now, guys. I, uh... I'm doing really... I'm doing better. I weigh less than I have for 15 years. 20... Well, 15 years for sure. Uh, in another week, it'll be... Or maybe two weeks or so. I'll weigh less than I have in 20 years. 
Like how? Like it's it's mind boggling. I, I feel good. I feel I feel great, actually. Um the way I'm the way I've always tried to lose weight in the past has been extremely excruciating, let's call it. But what I'm doing now is, man, it is. I'm really happy with it. I know I talk about this weight loss thing like pretty much every stream, but to be honest with you guys, I, uh, it's such a part of my life that I think about it constantly. So I, I, I apologize, but still, you're not going to let me do that. Are you? No, I'm going to have to get tricky. God, I love that. In here, isn't it? <laughs> Boom! We can actually even put this back. We're pumping the oil. Pumping the oil. Bean! Alright, now we need we need one pump. One pumpy pump. And we're done. We're out of here. This is done. Another another one bites the dust. I'm good with this. Uh, it's a little bare bones, but it's literally under the tracks. Are we filling? Are we filling? We're filling. Okay. Now these other two, we have plenty of room. And uh, so I'm going to use our blueprint that we made. Because I wasn't stupid and built right over the top of it. Well, actually, this one's really close. <sighs> now I'm going to lock it instead of build it. And I'm going to nudge it all the way that I can. Okay, and now I'm gonna delete this and rebuild it. Uh, now it'll be on top. Perfectly centered, perfectly aligned, no guesswork. Perfectly centered in the blueprint. Hope that made sense. That goes there. Uh, we need some power. We have the power, he man. Oh my God. You're gifting 10 more memberships, dubs. That's insanity. I literal insanity. That's like 40 or 50. Dude. <laughs> oh man. I, I can't even. I can't even. Thank you, man. There's nothing else I can say. All I can say is thank you. So thank you. Happy birthday to the ground. All right, now we're gonna do something, something like we got to make these meat somehow. No, that's not going to work. Really need to trim this bush. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, hold control for the win. Remember, holding control gives you half a notch. Okay, I like it. And now these actually can be... That can be a Mark 1. These can be Mark 1s. Very nice. We'll go power out from here to power into there. And we'll go power there for power there and we'll go copy our light scheme and we'll paste it here nice 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 uh this is actually not 600 it is 300 this is also 300 be that paste that paste that Oil is flowing. 
I really do need to make sure that I marker this correctly, even though we don't have our blueprint because I was an idiot. This is 600. Okay, okay, and then I'm gonna put in, It's it may be unnecessary, but I, I, I wanna make sure we have plenty of head lift to get down to the tower. We need two in and two out. We need four. What if we change this? What if we change this for everybody? I think we need to change this for everybody because really we need six. Two in and four out. Um, we're just gonna do this. Let's clear the area around us so that we can build these correctly. Let's give ourselves as much room as possible. Here, 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 and here. And then these need to go two in. Boom, boom. No, they, we, we gotta go down. Okay, here's the trick. Okay, so horizontal to vertical. It does exactly what it says it does. It does exactly, <laughs> you guys laughing about the sock puppet? Okay, yeah. Okay, so it goes exact, it does exactly what it says it does. It goes horizontal first and then vertical. Okay, I don't want this. This looks like, this looks, this is not what I want. So instead, if I build low and then go up, that's what I want. Okay, so the function of how it works is in its name. It's not vertical to horizontal, it's horizontal to vertical. Okay, so when you're building and you wanna hide a pipe or you want a pipe to do a certain thing and it's not doing what you want, just say the name out loud to remember that it goes horizontal first and then vertical. So depending on what end you start on, you can get the pipe to do what you want. It's the top two. 600 is the top left. This needs to be 600. I need to make some signs so I can keep track of these. Which one's the 600? I'm going to have to track it all the way over again. This one on the left. Left, left, front. Which is this one. Really, I didn't do that. I wouldn't have done that. That's stupid. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, I got out of it. <laughs> I, got, I got unexpectedly sucked into a hole. Never good. Okay, this is definitely the 600 pipe. So that's the six and that's the three. Okay, we're flowing again. We need some flow indicators. Okay, good. Let's mark, let's mark these safe from kin. There's our legend and I think it's good. Of our, our indicators working here. Yes, oil is here. So, okay, here's what we did. Okay, here's what I did. We had oil coming down from from the middle of our sock puppet right here. Okay, we had oil coming down in these two pipes. These two pipes take a, a right turn detour. Uh, and Ken is gonna take a quick second in his explanation to Clean some some stuff. Okay, they take a, a right turn detour. 
and they enter this this beast okay they enter in these two pipes here and here those two pipes go up the tower at the top they join these two pipes and all four come down into these four those are the 300 out the 600 out the 600 out and the 600 out and they head over here okay and they join up okay because i need to know when they enter the line for the last time how much is in each pipe so we have two on the uh, we have the two on the outsides done okay and so that means that we have the all the everything on the inside is open for these and these okay so we so we should be good now we have one last task to do and this is and this is done we do have to run this all the way back and then we can start on our waterfall view train line but we, we needed to get this task done and uh, it was time and now that tower I believe I'm done touching that tower everything is completed with that tower of course I've said that before and I usually go back and touch it again but that's a problem for another story okay we're ready to do some trains this was a little mini tour here's the sub floor Here's my sorters, my sinkers, whatever's excess gets sunk. Whatever gets full, whatever's full gets sunk. Here's the trucks bringing in the sulfur and the coal and the caterium. And some of them are bad drivers, but you know, you hire who you can out here. Uh, here's my first coal plant. It's still kicking. And here's the train line. I just started building without preamble, which as you know, is not like me. Let's make sure this works and it looks good. It does. Okay, so these are my train blueprints. And we, we have multiple tricks. We can curve to the left, we can curve to the right, we can go up, we can go down. We can actually curve up and to the right as well. Theoretically, we could curve up and to the left if I make that blueprint, we can curve down and to the right if I make that blueprint, and we can curve down and to the left if I make that blueprint. So we have all of those at our disposal. Uh, I just, some of those I just have yet to make. The plan is to use those tools at our disposal and follow these markers. And I wanna bring our train line close, kinda of close to this waterfall. We're gonna need it up and to the left. Trying to lurk back into the shadows. Bean, I know. I, listen, I, he's, I can't build faster than him. No, Bean, no. The straightaways are great. The straightaways, I just turn on blueprint mode and I, I can just bang them out super fast. It's the um, any curving or inclining that really causes an issue. We're gonna clear it. Oh yeah, we're gonna clear it. I just, I got us right up to the edge there. Right, I'm looking at the wall. And it's letting me look up in this corner right here to make sure that it all lines up. And then of course I can lock it and I can make sure. All right, so I think we're in trouble. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's okay. The good news about this is these are blueprints and they get deleted very, very, very fast. So I just gotta back it off of one whole notch. Okay, so instead of this one going flat, it immediately starts. All right, I'm thinking one more and then we start curving and 
going up at the same time. And we have to build that blueprint. We'll have to take a time out and we're going to have to design that blueprint because I, I haven't needed it yet. It's go time. All we have to do, you see this wall? Do you see how this wall is angled? See how the wall is angled to the right when you're looking this way? We just have to switch its angle and angle it to the left. That's all we have to do. Easier said than done. Get rid of all of these. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Change the color. Get rid of these. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, that's better. I'm not very fast with this new one. I mean, it's going to look amazing. We've cleared this and we're just going to keep clear. We're just going to keep going. And then once I get to where I can start going straight again, I mean, it's going to be worth it. Oh, wow. That looks so good. Guys, when trains come rolling through here. Oh. Is there a mistake there? Oh, my God. I made a mistake. Look at the mistake. <laughs> Look at the mistake. Look at it. Oh, my God. We have to st we have to go back to when I screwed up. I was going too fast, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, and I got rid of the concrete. Oh my God. <sighs> oh. Okay, we're back on the straightaway. That's it, we're done. We're done with this curving monstrosity. Let's get in, let's get in, let's fix our edges. The gaps. You know how to solve this? I'm such a moron. <sighs> Put it on the front so that the back one does the job for the front one. I <sighs> sometimes I, I fail to think recursively enough. That's the solution. You don't need two on one side, you moron. Just do one on each side. Make this one attached to that blueprint, and that one attached to that blueprint, and that one attached to that blueprint. Don't make that one and that one attached to that blueprint. It's freaking stupid. Ooh, can we just hug this wall? Uh, let's see how this looks. Can we, can we scooch between this and the wall? I think we can, and I think it'll look cool. And we may actually be on track for that. One more, one more up, one more up B. Okay, we gotta switch, we gotta switch here to flat. We're ready for the flat. And the flat is a post. And it's, it's right here. And is this correct? Yep. All right, now I get to switch to blueprint mode, which makes this go really fast. Okay, what did we decide? I think we decided we we're gonna go up and to the right. Because remember, we're gonna follow these. So we're gonna use our up, up and to the right blueprints right now did i hug this quite so much i i don't think that i sh don't think that i should back it off one curve all right let's up and let's up and curve it to the right our goal 
a task should we choose to accept it is we got to get through here and then can we chop these are these choppable there they are so what i'm probably going to do is fill my inventory i'll show you guys how to do that and i will chop exactly the 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 pink trees out of the way of our of our train line that i need so we can put our train line through the pink trees like a wall of pink trees on each side of us i think it's gonna be freaking sick i'll take them out one one at a time but we gotta get we gotta get up here first that's our next goal let's get rid of this The only reason that this works is because I need a point of reference to build the next blueprint. And so what I've done here is that the previous blueprint includes the next blueprint's point of reference at the correct angle for it to curve. We will not do trains forever, you guys. I know that, oh, that's the wrong one. It's been lasting a long time and this is actually the part of the save that or The part of the playthrough I've sort of been dreading not in the sense that I don't mind it that or that I mind it but in the sense that You know so I started blasting In the sense that you know, it's taking a lot of time and I'm showing the same content for like what seems like forever, but we're we're on the tail end. We are on the tail end. At least that's what I'm going to tell you. We started today back here, the train portion of today. We started right here. Okay. We have since built this built this uh around the waterfall up over the lake and we just finished this curve and we're about right here that's that's where we are there yeah and we're here we've made it now oil we do have to send some oil through these right side pipes and those have been free and open the whole time. So we're good there. Hey, okay, we, we curve past the tree. We need to curve. Let's see. Is this thing destroyable. No, is this? Yes. But I'd rather not destroy either of them. I wonder if I can thread the needle through this and that. Well, let's check. Yes, I can. And so, yes, we will. This. Okay, I left signs for myself. Freeway intersection. Future home of the Death Star landing platform, loading platform. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is a this is a three-way intersection, a big boy, but we got plenty of space. I'm gonna. I think I'll probably do my first real three-way intersection here, like like there, there, and there all together. I think it'll be really cool. Yeah, this is this is what we're working on a week from tonight is this intersection and then hopefully i will have this train spiral blueprint done over during the week and basically we're going to come out over the waterfall and then we're going to train spiral down and then we're going to meet up the intercontinental railroad this is the other end you guys this is how close we are We'll link these two up a week from tonight, I think. Yeah, see? I'm gonna hit that tree. So, 
with one extra curve I hit that tree or with one extra curve I hit that tree. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to move forward until a curve puts us where we want and it'll just be one. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, uh, I'm kidding. Like I'm 90% kidding. The problem is when I do something really cool, I almost always immediately follow it up with stupidity. So whenever I brag about being good at this game, I'm out, I'm out of silica finally. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's like one meter on that side and less than a meter on that side. I mean, it, it's kind of, we really should not be this low, but uh, I want, I want to, I wanted to get down by the trees, you know, and I, I really pushed it, but we're, we're out of silica. Oh, I made a promise. Okay. I forgot. I forgot. I made a train promise. Okay. I'm going to keep that promise. We're going to run a train on the waterfall. The final train ride of the evening. Here we go. And turn off the HUD. Here's our train line. We got so much done tonight, you guys. There's our waterfall. And our sloping incline curve. Oh man, that's really cool. Just to move through two dimensions like that at the same time on in satisfactory. That's freaking all squares. Oh, I love it. All right. Now we're going to do our little uh, loopy and we're going to head back and we're going to take a look at the other direction. Guys, we're getting close to the end here. If you wouldn't mind just taking a second and hitting the like button on the stream, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Oh, it tells me it's at 100 new members. I have the stat for, we're at exactly 100 new members. Here we go. Oh, I love it. I just saw the stat. Yeah, I'm really happy with this train ride, you guys. I'm really, really happy with it. We'll take the train back to, scare, uh, to the Senate building. Yeah, you guys have been awesome. Thank you to all the new members. And just one last time, most of the benefits of your new membership are in the Discord. So uh, you can also use emojis, members only emojis on YouTube itself. We did a lot, we had a lot of fun. A lot of stuff happened. Hey, let's check our map. We put in this and then we went around the corner here and I'd say we got to about right there. Okay, so this started down here. We got all that in. We fixed the tower today. And we got the oil and the oil pumps from here through here up to the tower and back. We got a lot done today. All right, guys, craziness. Come to the Discord, come hang out. And if you go to my Discord, I have a scheduled streams section that adjusts the time to your time zone. So I'm saying 9 p.m. PST, but on a Tuesday night, but maybe you're in Germany and you don't know how that translates. Well, if you come to the Discord and look at the schedule and look at the time, it'll tell you the time and day in your time. It makes that auto adjustment, okay? There's some real value there if you wanna keep track. All right, guys, that was it. And thanks again, everybody.